This was our eighth day on the river, and now, just round the corner, we're heading into a section that the Dene knew as Dead Man's River. They didn't paddle that, they took out into a, a separate system to bypass the lot. Okay. The clouds were beginning to get quite hazy, so I'd checked, and yeah, there was a faint halo round the sun, and that's cirrostratus, which can be an indicator of bad weather. Keep going, keep going. Ah, there's a cairn. All right, in there, in there, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Keep going. There's a trail up there. Now get hold of the boat. Paul, this is it. Sorry, I didn't see you there. This is good. So let's get a boat unloaded. Yeah. And get a boat up and out of the way because that's the, the drawback here. A lot of the landings on this section were going to be awkward. One boat had to be brought in, emptied, before the next boat could start sorting. In fact, that will do if we push it against the tree. Yeah, okay. The portage looks good. Turn, turn it 180 degrees and point back up the slope, John. Turn right, it over my it. head. Going all the way around. Yeah. That's it, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, don't adjust for a bit. Give me gentle power. Oh God, no boy. Statue, you look like you could suck a golf ball down a garden hose. <laughs> Push it. So there's a hole and also it's coming off it to the left. Yeah. So you don't want to be not nice. So what's the line? I think it's slightly left to centre. Go down towards the middle and then push left from that. Yeah. Nice and gently. Paddle left, paddle left, pull me left and go, and go, and go. Nicely done, nicely done.
that the one? No. Well, big and cast three down the main line. And the trouble is on the left everything's shallow and full of rock, so we ended up lining down this little bit. Don't want to risk the boat. I've got to miss that rock. This is the um, takeout above Cliff Falls. The falls themselves are class 5 and it's not an easy place to get out and boats have to be done one at a time and to stop any mistakes there we go and he's there to catch us. Thank you. This was uh, <laughs> seemed to be more akin to rock climbing or mountaineering than portaging. So it was a team effort. Um, kit could go through, but even then you had to be careful. But both had to be manhandled around this ledge system and then back down. Place to be careful. Portage the Pocky Poo, it will be the end of you. <laughs> I don't think you need to look at it, Paul. We're just going. We're going. Keep me left, keep me left. So, so, so. The cross deck with the bat is in. Um, I can take us right because of the steering at the back. Sometimes you you take us you you need to take us right, yeah. but right in the middle of that big stuff you don't want two paddles on the same side. Yeah. Oh bloody hell! Yeah. John spotted it. Because <laughs> we paddled fast. Shows how much attention you pay to the river, right?
unreal. This was our eighth night on the river, but below us was the gorge. And it had a reputation. There was going to be portage, paddling, and the tension in me was mounting. We're going to the far side of the river, David. We've been to the other end of the portage, we've also checked a bit beyond it, the slope's not pleasant. We're going to take all the gear through to the end of the portage as marked on the map, and then we're going to get the boats through. Um, we've cleared some of the branches out of the way so we can get the boats through with a reasonable carry. Then we're going to tie the gear in, paddle across the little bay. There is a class 3 ledge there, we're going to catch the boats and then we're going to line tight around the end of the little promontory where the class 3 ledge is, and then we can take into the eddy a bit beyond it's a bit turbulent a bit beyond that we can get back in and paddle from there so that's the plan brilliant i like a plan i really do like a plan i went to that yes and what are you doing here ray huh? i'm gonna paddle i'm gonna paddle the class five no i'm not <laughs> there's a little little eddy upstream henry and i are gonna paddle to that line the boats round to here save the first part of the portage um don't really Yep, take the left gov and we'll go nice and slow. That's him. You can put the nose into that rock there, that little yeah. gap. Pull it quick before I swing. You could haul that one out, John. I suddenly remembered I've got a heart condition and I thought, if I have a heart attack and slump to the bottom of the boat and Henry looks over his shoulders and sees basically me lying dead in the bottom. I'll leave you to your fate. Now jump out, swim, and watch you go over the edge. So the final one would be Henry waving goodbye as I dif disappeared over the edge of that great big falls. <laughs> I think these thoughts are not good. Rapid, right? Yeah. Bonus where you are, so you've got a 
a VS4C move to get out of the alcove. <laughs> Careful, David. He's on it. He's on it. Bloody hell, is he, is he on it? I'm not. <laughs> David, just, just in that depression, because then it's still separate from theirs. Yeah. Paddling, whatever you do, keep paddling. the rope, drop the rope. Let go Paul, let go! Come on closer. Come to hold the tail. Right, let it let it run. Let go, let go, let go. My nose left. That's it, now we can go. The left 
left-hand way train, there is a nice line that will take you all the way down, but then there's a little le ledge on the left, so you, you, you know, yeah. but it looks like a, cl a clear silvery line all the way down. With that rapid cleared, it was only flat water to a campsite kilometres or so further on. Very pleasant, sandy beach, easy tentage, and I was chilled out. <laughs> the next day we just did a few kilometres to a campsite right next to where we would be picked up by the float plane. It was a chance to chill out, to fish, to cook. We did get one brief glimpse of a, a black bear. for me so I won't uh, do a river like this again my <laughs> between my uh, heart and my legs um, the group were really kind to me to get me th through on the land on the water loved it to bits uh, the, the portages were some of the most extraordinary that I've known because they're not well traveled um, <laughs> adventurous so yeah, it's um, time to do other things in a canoe. I've got lots of plans, not giving up yet, but this is the last of these. Thanks for watching, folks. You can help the channel by clicking like or making a comment, and you can give support with buymeacoffee.com. Thank you.